right, up here at which we'll be doing the top tips on YouTube. Now, um, a lot of things have been covered by the lads, so I was thinking to myself, what could I possibly tell you that might help you in catching something that's a uh, real special fish? My specialty is catching fish that are a little bit more obscure, ones that don't get caught so often. So my top tips for targeting a big fish, there are certain things you can do to target a big fish, not just turn up and fish for it, which you can do and you can sometimes catch it. But like I said, um, when I caught um, drop scale recently, there was ways that I could narrow, you know, sort of like narrow down the, the, the you know, well, greaten the chances of trying to catch this particular fish. So if you're after a particular fish, now there's two ways you can do it. You can either talk to the anglers, don't go, if you're new on a lake, don't just go straight to the anglers and go, oh, where does the big fish come from? What does it come on? Blah, 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 because you might get a bit of a cagey reaction. It's always best, you know, to be friendly, talk to anglers. Anglers are a lot different to when I started. When I started years ago, ang you walk past anglers dead back here, you wouldn't talk to, but now we're a bit more of a friendly bunch. Obviously you get a few anglers that are not like that, but you leave them to it. Most of the time anglers will talk to you and give you information, but you just don't plug them for it. So when you're talking about it, you know, you'll be sitting there, go, oh yeah, the big one come from over there. And you all these little bits and fragments of, of information about the fish you're after, log them all in your brain and remember them. And I think the best way, like I say, you could do it that way, or you could just keep to yourself, not bother talking to anyone, and fish two or three years to get this information that you can get in a few visits when you get friendly with anglers. They can cut your chance, they can cut your, your chances of not catching that fish down dramatically, you know? So first tip is know your fish, right? Your fish, if it's a big one, normally they're a bit harder to catch than the other ones. He's got big for a reason. He will come from particular parts of the lake at particular times of the year. Now I know my big one come out, comes out for one or two swims in April. Then when it warms up, there's a shallow corner over there, he goes over there. So you can, you know, you can, if you miss the capture there, which you can do, there's a lot of anglers that will know this and still do it, but then you can go over to that bottom corner where he gets caught over there and you might have a little chance during the day on a bit of shallow water you might pick up. And then when the sun comes up and it's more summery, he comes out from the deeper water here in the big bowl here. So finding out where it comes from at what particular times of year will, um, greatly increase your chances of catching that particular fish. Now, another big point, not many points I can give you, but another massive point with it is, if you're gonna catch a big and find out what it comes from, you might find out that that fish only really gets, nine out of 10 times it's caught on a pop-up. So you know what you gotta do. You've gotta be fishing a pop-up. Anglers will tell you, you know, sometimes you might get thrown a swerve ball and they might, but generally speaking, when the consensus of all the anglers you speak to will say the same thing. That particular fish loves a fish meal. There you go fish a fish mill you know that particular fish comes from that area that particular time of day it's never come out of the top so if you're after that fish and it's your be all and end all don't bother fishing off the surface use all your time in areas that you think it's going to come from and when a fish comes from that particular area and you've missed it then maybe have a backup water you can drop back onto do something else and uh, wait for it to warm up again a little bit you know give it a month or two and a fish will start getting about looking caught again then you'll know the next area it's going to get caught at which will be a summer area in that deeper water or whatever so your two best things just know your quarry know where he gets caught from and know how he gets caught some angles will tell you it never gets caught in a pop-up and they, sometimes you might see it being landed and you just look and you'll see it's a bright bright pop-up hanging out of its mouth there you go straight away it's been caught on that use that you know as a starting point like I say you can not talk to anglers it cuts a lot of things down just be nice about it and anglers are generally good lads you know you will get information from them but if you don't want to do that and you want to keep yourself to yourself and you do it it might take you a bit longer but you might have to spend a few years on it to watch where it comes from and to sort of like you know maybe see he's spawning and then caught it or someone's caught it in the margins or find out where he comes from and how he comes from and that. It always comes out in open water, the fish I was after, so I'm always fishing open water. And I know the few spots where it comes from at the time of year. So I'm always fishing them time spots at that time of year. That's why I was where I was on the chalk wall in April and bang, I had it at 47.6. So hopefully that'll give you a little insight. Not, there are other things I can go into, but I won't bore you. But if you can do those things to target a big fish, know what it comes out on and know where it comes from, what time of the year, you're gonna greatly, greatly, greatly increase your chances of catching that fish. So hopefully, maybe follow those points and maybe hopefully you'll catch the one that you want. Um, like I say, big fish are very habitual. They are quite, you know, some other 20s and 30s in the lake, they just get caught everywhere. But the big one has patrol routes. He's been doing it for years. He's 40 years old. He knows exactly the same patrol routes he goes every year to certain conditions. 
you might have a condition where it's low, it doesn't come out when it's really raining. So you look at it and you might think, I'll still go for it, but if it does come out and it's raining, it sometimes might come out for a different area of the lake. You know, you found out that when it was raining once, it was in the shallows over there or at the end of a wind, or does it follow a wind? Does it get caught off the back of a wind? This particular fish that I caught doesn't come off the surface. So all my concentration to catch it was fishing on a pop-up on the bottom in the areas where I think it will come from. So hopefully you can follow these points and hopefully you'll get the fish of your dreams. Good luck, all the best.